welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's play World 4, Act 4. This is going to give me lots of nightmares. But I practiced this a lot, and by... Wait a minute. Okay, the mic is on. I said that. Listen, I practiced this level a lot. And by practice, I mean... I've recorded this episode a few times, you know, trying to fix that sound problem I've been having in the past few episodes. Once I've got turned the mic on and it was all silent. Once the music was too loud and you couldn't hear me talking. Hopefully this episode won't have any desync. That's the other problem I've been fighting, but... The volume balance seems to be good. So let me know what you think. It'll be a lot better than the first three episodes. I'm happy. And I'm getting better at these levels. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm dying a lot less than I was. Whoa. Okay. There we go. You gotta move quick in that part or you get swarmed by birds and projectiles. You gotta watch those cats. If you try to jump over them, they'll turn around and hang out underneath you like that. Bullet time. Bullet time. Yeah, like that. Oh, sh Okay, I'm not dead. I don't know how that happened. That was awesome. Love wall jumping now. Wall climbing. You just gonna stand there? Okay. Yeah, take your time here. Don't rush it. Well, certain parts rush it when you have to memorize, of course. Okay, don't die right here. Well, there's a checkpoint here, but still, dying in this guy sucks. And having no health left sucks. So, I can just make it to this awesome cutscene. This iconic scene of the entire series. Well, by series, I mean the first trilogy. I know there's newer games out there, 3D games and stuff, but it actually looks pretty awesome. Unlike some of the 3D Castlevania games, it looks kind of lame. Maybe this is me. Okay. Now, you gotta watch for these green Jedi guys, because they jump around and they never get close enough to hit, unless you're really careful. And it seems like they have longer range than I do. Definitely watch for the bats. Oh, never mind. So the green guys, the skulls are different, though. So different. Yeah, these guys. My nemesis. Don't kill that bat. Those guys just throw stuff like the... What's it called? 4-2 is also short, like 4-1. Deadly, but short. 4-3 is a bit longer. Okay, I should have moved quicker there. If you can get up there quick, you can get in close and kill them, but... Okay, there we go. Okay, conserve some health. Here we go. Okay, if I can run past these birds, there we go. Yeah, this part drains all your health real quick. That's about three quarters of the way through the stage. But once you pass that bridge bar, that Castlevania bridge, you're you're golden. Might take me a few tries. I'm gonna move quickly here. Perfect. You think a game where oh yeah, you're a ninja and you can kill everything in one hit and climb walls. You think that'd make it easy, but no way. And I'm glad it's not easy. It wouldn't be a classic if it was too easy. See, these birds respawn, so I don't know if it's worth killing them, but... Seems like the best defense. Dude, fucking my aim sucks in those flying monsters. I don't know. If I had some projectiles, like that windmill shuriken or anything, it'd be awesome. But even if I got them, I'd have no ammo. Oh, there's five ammo, I guess, but...
Yeah, I saw a YouTube a playthrough of this guy, I forget his name, but he played this entire game through without dying once, on like one solid recording. Now that's some awesome stuff. And it wasn't one of those, you know, time lapse, like, what's it called, tool assisted videos either. Those are cool, but they're not kind of my thing. But man, this guy was so awesome. I'm never going to be that good. I can practice for a month and not be that good, so. Doing this for fun, mo mostly. Okay, we made it past the bridge, but I still have a bad feeling about this last part. Yeah, there we go. You can't win with those birds. You can't run, you can't fight. You just gotta get lucky. Maybe that's just me. Or at least be this level here. And if you have any good strategies or ideas for this level, if you're good at this level, you have something to say, feel free to reply to this video, make your own recording, do whatever. I'm open to criticism. I know lots of tactics I probably don't have going on. I didn't look up any walkthroughs or anything. Okay, I lost my groove. Let's get back into it. There we go. Okay. Getting back there. There we go. Okay, ninja, birds. Ninja, birds, ninja, birds. Run from the birds. Kill the bird. Kill the bat. Ninja, bird. What is this, like alternate? Ninja, bird, ninja, bird. Hey, there we go. I figured it out. And I got a weapon the last second with no ammo. And of course, oh, never mind. I was going to say. Of course, I beat the level so they take it away. Is that the windmill turkin or the regular one? Either way, I have no ammo and I'm probably gonna die. But and of course, I don't refill my health. And this stage sucks because once you get to the boss, if you die on the boss, you go back to the beginning of four three, which is no fun. So I'm gonna try my best to get there with enough health a few times and give them some attempts. Probably gonna stop the video around ten minutes. I don't like going to 15, even though you can. Yeah, this level's a bit easier, as long as you stay back from the karate guys. There's not too many pits, there's no birds, there's some bullets, but if you're careful, you can shoot them down. Maybe not. That thing shoots faster than I remember. I know you can shoot those bullets, but... Man. Okay, I'm going to uh, take a break here. Uh, catch you next time. Thanks for watching.